In this video, I'm going to go over how we can trim a large ECW image file and resize it, cut it down to a TIFF file. Uh, I've got this one here for Pike County. Uh, this is about 1.6 gigabytes, so pretty chunky guy. Uh, we're first going to open up QGIS, brand new empty project, and we're just going to take that ECW file, just drag and drop. Uh, it's going to ask some things about transformation options. I'm not going to pay too close attention to the projection set up here. I'm just going to stick with the one it's picking up uh, by default. We're going to say OK and the image pops in there. Good to go. Um, so what we're going to do is we're first going to clip it down to smaller extents. I'll export that out, take a look at the file size, and then show how we can resize um, the resolution of the clipped image, and then just basically get the amount of detail we want without unnecessary file size. So we're going to go up here to raster. We are going to extract, and we're going to clip raster by extent. <coughs> uh, for the clipping extents, we're going to hit the three dots there. And we're going to select extent on canvas. So here we're just going to drag um, to pick a rectangle. Let's say that's the general area that I'm interested in. Get that. And that should be good to go. I'm not going to save this to temporary. Um, we're just going to stick with everything set up here. And we're going to hit run. Depending on the file size, that may take a minute. Uh, whenever this is done, it's going to create a new layer over here. I'll let this run in real time just so we see how long it takes with this file. All right, so it has finished. You might even get a desktop notification so you can actually go do other things while that's running in the background if you want. I'm going to close that out. Uh, I'm currently looking at both layers on top of each other. If I turn off the original one, now we've got the nice trimmed down piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that clipped one and I'm just going to immediately export it out to a GeoTIFF file. Um, I'm actually not sure if they'll even let you export out another ECW file. So that is one downside to this. Um, you're losing that ECW format. So hopefully it's small enough that GeoTIFF will work. So I'm going to do that. We'll give it a file name. And I'll just call this export one. Save that out. Shouldn't really be anything to change here. Um, I think we are good to go. Uh, notice you can do this option here, add saved file to map, so it'll just make a second layer. It's almost like a copy of it. Um, I'm going to turn that off for the moment. So we'll do that there. And we'll say OK. So it gives you a little progress bar down there. So that'll take a minute to complete. But what you're going to find is this GeoTIFF, it's still going to be pretty big. And actually, one nice thing about the ECWs um, is how well they compress. And I think they do a better job of compressing compared to GeoTIFF files. However, it may give us more detail than what we're actually after here. Um, now on this one you can see it's you know losing resolution when you zoom in on this house here. Um, but maybe we don't even need that much. Maybe you know just seeing the general location of the buildings is enough. So if we can cut that down further um, and just basically carry around less data, that's definitely going to be preferable. Right, I'm going to pause the video for a second while this finishes. All right, so now that's finished. I just want to real quick take a look at the file size I got there. So as you can see, that TIFF is actually bigger than the original ECW. So that's not not really helpful for what we're trying to do here. Um, again, it's just because ECWs do a much better job of compressing the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this image, uh, or basically change the resolution of it. So I'm going to get less detail um, in order to cut the file size down. So 
what I'm going to do for this one, we're going to, first of all, I want to take a look at what the resolution is of this thing. So I'm going to take, I'm going to right click on the clipped one, check out the properties. And we're going to scroll down a little bit here. You can see our pixel size, it's one by negative one. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure why that's a negative one. Um, I would have expected just one by one. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to just cut it down to, or I'm going to increase the cell pixel size to be a two by two. So that should cut it down pretty significantly. So here we're going to go to raster and we're actually going to use the align rasters function. Doesn't immediately sound like what we're after, but it does include what we need. So the rasters that we're going to use here, hit the plus button. I'm going to get that clipped extent layer. That's what we're after. Uh, the output raster file name, I'm going to call this one um, export2. Do that. And there's various resampling methods here. I have not checked out all these. I just ran it once with the nearest neighbor option. But this is how it's actually trying to figure out, you know, when we go from four one by one cells into a single two by two cell, well, what's the color of that grouped cell gonna be? Uh, and so the resampling method's gonna have an impact on that. You can try different ones if you want. Um, I'm just gonna stick with nearest neighbor and we'll run with that. So, say okay. I'm gonna control the cell size. Um, you can see right now it's telling us what the output of this image would be, but if I change this to a two by two, that gets cut down pretty significantly. So that's all we want. Um, and this time I am gonna add this one to the map so I'll be able to just physically see the difference. Just turn those on and off. So I'm gonna let that run. I'm gonna pause for a moment while it does. All right, so now that's finished. Close out of that command. You can see the addition there. Let's real quick take a look at the file size and immediately export to it's been cut down but well, we went from a one by one to a two by two so it should be cut down by about a factor of four and that's pretty much what we got there so with that let's just take a look at what type of impact it has just when you look at it um, i'm going to turn off export to and you see you may may not be able to see this in the video but when you turn it off the pixels kind of dance around a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on an area somewhere. See some of this, uh, this yes, yeah, the building I was looking at earlier. So we can see the resolution there. Now if I turn this one on, you'll notice the resolution definitely gets worse. But it's still good enough that we can tell exactly where that building is. You can even if you were seeing that for the first time, you may not immediately know that was the red truck, but um, you know you kind of get the idea there. So just by changing that resolution, we can cut this thing way down. Um, so we went from 1.6 file to half a gig. So you know, basically a third of the size. Um, hopefully that helps. If you got any questions, please let me know, and we'll go from there. Thanks.